Oh, today's the day, guys. What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> He's camera yeah. shot. Wide body. <laughs> Wide body. It's gonna be a, a long night. No, we'll be putting the new fenders on today. Whoop. So right now we're watching a video of how to do it without welding the um the cuts. And on eliminate, Randy fucking well like uses gorilla gorilla tape to basically stick them together. I've never seen it done this way. The whole thing's gonna be covered, so it doesn't really matter. He said, "Hella ghetto." Let's get today's video started. Well, it's almost like 11 o'clock at night, and me and Jose about to start to put the new fender on the wide body baby fender. The other side. <laughs> but guys, um, we're gonna show you a way to do it without welding. Um, Jose actually showed me. He actually looked up that video that Randy did from Eliminate, and he didn't use a welding machine to do it. So, what would you say? A lot of people do it in Japan. The, the people who have drift missiles. Yeah. So I'll show you the material that we're about to use. Um, because <laughs> we did the other side, we just we didn't want to show it because we wanted to do the fuck up side. Oh, I wanted to do the fuck up side. Jose told me not to because so we can just do it on the messed up side so we can show y'all it. But we already did the other side and it came out fucking flawless. It was our first time, both our first time doing it. Um, and like I don't know, it was it was, it was pretty crazy when we saw it when we did it. So I'm gonna show you the tools that you need to do it yourself. So guys, these are the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a rivet gun. You're gonna need rivet. We are using um, three sixteenths. You're gonna need a grinder to cut your fender. You're gonna need masking tape. You're gonna need a drill bit set, Sharpie, scissors, channel locks. Then you're gonna need um, sealant, hammers, uh, we have two types of hammers. We have a ballpoint and then we have a soft hammer. Then you're going to need a drill, eye protection, acetone. Well, we're using acetone to clean it. You're going to need a rag. And then you're going to need this waterproof um, sealant tape. You also need some type of uh, paint coating. If you guys don't have um, extra sets of these, you're going to need some. We're not taking the tire off because... <laughs> we're not taking the tire off because someone so someone, <laughs> someone forgot to bring uh an impact and a what is it called the uh lock key and sockets so what we're doing is we're just lifting it up so we can have enough clearance to cut the fender i mean it worked on the other side perfectly fine we'll probably just go through the step by step so we can show you how to do it on the other side we almost had a fire incident because there's there's foam in here so guys you want to take off the pillar and pull out those foams if not then when you're grinding you can shoot sparks and it will start a fire with this foam But Jose's taking the foam out and then we're gonna mock up the fender and then we're gonna drill each hole with a smaller drill bit so we can just have the holes already drilled and then when we get ready we'll drill them with the 3 16 drill bit and go from there. Jose just got done mock mocking it up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a drill bit to two sizes smaller from the 316 i think it's a um 532 and you're basically just going to start drilling in on your fender <laughs> guys so we got all the holes drilled in now we're just gonna take the fender off and put it to side until we're ready to put it on we did a video on fixing this but um 
I didn't want to show it because like the video didn't come out good. So basically what we did was we got a body filler, filled it in, sanded it down, try to get it as best as we can to look like the other side. I mean, it has its shape and all, but I mean, there's still imperfections on it. Like up here where the antenna used to be. I mean, you can still see the bump. So I'll probably have to go over that again and then right here too. So that's the only imperfections. I mean, we probably still just have to smooth it out a little more, but I think it's straight. For your first time. For my first time, I don't I don't do body. So this is like our first time ever doing stuff like this. So body on cars, body on girls. Oh shit. Chill out, man. So what we're gonna do now is set up how we're gonna cut it. We're just gonna put a tape all the way to probably about right here. Here I'll mark it. So right here and then on the other side to about right here. Same thing. It's the same thing. And then Basically, we just, just throw nothing but tape. Wherever you mark that mark, it should be about right here. And then those other new mark, those other marks should be right there, and right there. And then basically, you're just gonna. Connect it. Where the body line on the end of the fender. We gotta do that one first anyway. Yeah. You're gonna mark it too. Like this. Because you're gonna cut this off too. Let's get it, baby. Let's do this. Fuck, dude, there's like a fucking, there's like a glare. Since we got the bottom part off, now we're gonna actually cut. Like I was saying, now we gonna cut the bitch. <laughs> Did it just? It just fucking fell off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut slits like that and then fold them up spray it with the coating so help from rusting well actually it protects it from rusting <laughs> i was just playing guys 
so what we basically did is we cleaned the side of it, the fender well, with uh, acetone and a rag. You want to get as clean as you possibly can. We also smoothed this out so it can fill in all the gaps. Now we have the last thing that you're going to do is the uh, tape. And um, this is what's going to seal it from, from all the water and stuff getting in. So this part won't get rusted. So we're basically going to get like probably the end of this on the bottom right about there and then we're gonna try to stretch it all the way up and if you want you can put another layer it don't matter that's what we did on the other side and then you're basically just gonna go all the way around with this tape So guys that's basically using that tape this tape is actually pretty like strong randy from eliminate this is what he basically did but we did it a little different from what the way he did it this is the alternative way if you don't have a uh someone who can hold it for you. don't have like a welder now it's time i'll make it clear guys right now if i ever blow up really big like Randy Big, I swear, I promise, I'll buy Jose's dream car. If I blow up, if I get really big, what's your dream car, Jose? Uh, 240Z432. Guys, you heard it from me. If I ever go big, I'll get him his dream car. Oh, shit. All right, guys, moment of truth. Time to put the new fender on. So basically with the rivet gun, you're gonna put it in the hole and then you're gonna pump the rivet gun while you're holding the rivet in place. And then with all that pressure, it's gonna break off and then the rivet is gonna stay in the body. Here, I'll give you all a close up on what he's doing. All right guys, we just finished and we're just gonna lower it and see what it looks like. <laughs> well, in the video tomorrow, cause we really can't see it. It's already like almost one o'clock. So what we'll do is we'll see you tomorrow. So, I don't what is up guys it is the next day and y'all saw last night when we finished the 240 it came out perfect let's go ask jose how perfect it came out on a scale of one to ten what do you think about the baby wife fingers oh uh, yeah fuck you <laughs> no, I, think amazing. I think we did amazing like no more dents, no nothing. Perfect. Here guys, I'll, I'll show you. Baby wide fenders. You can't even tell. Huh. Like in camera, you can't really tell. They look fucking awesome. I like them. No more dents in the rears. No more, they look awesome. I right, deal with some cinematics, just washing the car, and that'll probably be it. So guys, I'll check you guys out on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at 600 subscribers, and that's amazing. <laughs>